This is Drew Spence from Producers Edge Magazine. This is issue two, winter 2007, and we are looking at IK Multimedia Sample Mode. It is a virtual instrument built Rompler style with samples of 16 different Moog synthesizers and powered by the Sample Tank 2 engine. This virtual instrument contains over 2,000 preset patches from Moog synths starting as far back as the modular Moog 3C from 1967 to modern synths such as the mini Moog Voyager and Little Fatty. I won't spend much time detailing the interface because it's intuitive and clearly labeled. Of note is the mix window where I can layer several instruments to create a custom combi patch. You can layer and combine up to 16 different parts, all controlled by a singular MIDI input. For an original tone, I'll combine a 1970 Mini Moog, Fast Mod Bass, and moving down to part two, I'll select a modern patch from the Mini Moog Voyager. String detuned, it's a dark pad. Seeing that my Intel 2.4 GHz 4 gigs RAM machine is not taxed even with screen capture software running at max resolution and a ghost drum machine running in the background, I'll still combine a third instrument. You can see how much CPU power is in play by noting the CPU load meter on the bottom and a display of MBs in use for RAM by each instrument in the mix window. We'll visit 1982 Memory Moog with an aggressive short lead. And now I've got the Mini Moog from 1970 fighting the 80s, so it's time to look at the parts control. Range is useful for creating splits and layers. The macro changes according to the selected instrument. Here is for the very familiar cutoff, resonance, and key tracking. We'll be coming back here soon. Synth changes between the two playback engines. Resample or stretch. Resample is the cleaner tone since it works as you'd expect a conventional sampler to. The samples play back faster or slower without any additional processing. Stretch, which is sample tank time resynthesis technology, has independent control over pitch, harmonics, and tempo. Here is where you can do some really interesting experimentation. The filters sound very nice and smooth and operate as to be expected at a quality level consistent with the Sample Tank 2 engine. We'll drop the Mini Moog down through filtering and raise the Memory Moog through EQ adjustments on both ends of the EQ curve. For effects, you have a choice of 32 DSP effects with a maximum of four selected per part. To add character, we'll use a wah-wah effect. We'll add a crusher effect to decimate the sound and finally a tempo sync delay. The phonograph effect simulates vinyl noises and worth experimenting and playing with on your own. Overall, this product is geared for producers whose workflow is more centered on composition than sound design. The high quality sample based approach of a virtual Rompler VST matches up well, bringing classic Moog tones to your production without the expense or maintenance concerns of amassing this collection by yourself. Don't forget to check this issue's DVD-ROM for full quality audio and samples of this release. This is Drew Spence from Producers Edge Magazine with the software spotlight feature IK Multimedia Sample Mode. A preset run through follows. Thank you.